Alright, these folks were down here at the boat ramp early in the morning taking a little cruise. It's the Friday before Father's Day. As I said on my community page on my YouTube channel, stuff just pops up there to let you know what's going on. And I put a little picture that you could hardly tell what it was. I had one guy say, what is that? An oven mitt? No, it's this right here. How do you like that? That is my patriotic engine cover. Because I'm a very patriotic individual. That is my patriotic engine cover from Outdoor Envy. It has a breathable mesh at the top. You can get it in many different styles. You can get a fish scale pattern. So I wanted Stars and Stripes. Why? Because I got my Stars and Stripes right up there. And as you may have seen, I got my Stars and Stripes on the side of the boat too. My engine cover is so beat to hell with sun, then it got banged and the paint was chipping and I keep repainting it and everything and scratched that I just got tired of looking at it. I wanted one of these engine covers and I started looking at the prices of them. Well, the Suzuki one cost $250. So what I did was started looking around and I ended up finding Outdoor Envy in South or Central Florida, wherever Seminole, Florida is. I'm trying to get away from all the boat noise back here. And this one is a nice thin, stretchy material. It connects right there. It's got a latch system that's way underneath there. It's real kind of tight. It's uh, like spandex, you know? I love how women today, especially women with nice bodies, are all into these tight spandex pants. Well, hey, keep it tight, Mon, keep it tight. Yeah, I decided to get this one. This one isn't padded, it's just a cover. And you can see the mesh here. It's like football jersey mesh where it breathes through. If you go to their website, and he, they show how, you know, they got them on the mat back of triple engine boats and, and they stay on. These basically uh, are $99. Let me give you a little clue. If you buy a new engine, if you go and you buy a brand spanking new outboard, and next time around, I will. What I'm going to do is I am going to have it wrapped with wrap, like they put on cars and the, all those uh, kingfishing tournament boats and bass boats and all that. I am going to have it wrapped just the cowling alone, just the cover of the engine. I'm gonna either have it wrapped with something or just clear. Because they're doing it now with uh, like supercars, putting a clear wrap on them. Got some red bass bait for tomorrow. Mr. Ladyfish. God, those ladyfish are nasty. Alright, here I am. I'm at home. Here it is. The only place I could find 
UV protection was the old Amazon. Stuff's expensive. I should get a couple of applications out of it. Water and sun shield. It's supposed to be a UV protectant. I guess it was about nine, ten bucks or something just for this. So I'm going to spray my cover down and um, let it dry up. I can see I already got some saltish stain or salt on it already. I'm running the outboard out right now on the hose, but I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to spray this down and hopefully maintain the vibrant colors of my outdoor envy flag color cover. I didn't know if I showed this before because this might be something because this is what I thought when I first saw even the Suzuki co covers how they patch in all this so it can breathe. I think I showed this before. So everything can breathe through that mesh there. Hopefully it's going to keep people from knocking any paint loose again on my on my poor Suzuki 250. Thanks for stopping by. This was my big reveal. Just one of those things, again, that I'm passing on to you guys. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. I'll put a link to their website. And yes, I did. I put this, these covers on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Just for the heck of it. Like I said, it don't matter to me if Nobody gave it to me. Nobody. Know. Oh, if somebody buys one off my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, oh yeah, I'll make 50 cents on my Amazon page. Ooh, yeah, that's enough to buy you a tablespoon of beer. I appreciate it. I'll see you to the next one.